Hi everyone, my name is Seema. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video where I do my makeup with only products that I bought for reasons that were related to fandom. This isn't like products I bought because they were collaborations with fandoms. They were like officially linked to anything I was a fan of. They were just like items that the name or something about it like reminded me of something that I happened to be into at that time. And then I bought it for that reason. And a lot of these are really stupid purchases and I just kind of wanted to like talk about the products and why I got them. Not everything on my face obviously is a product like that. Like they don't really give foundations fun names, etc. So like anything that's not a product that is linked in some way to fandom, I will just like put on my face off camera and Everything will be like linked in the description below as usual, but the ones that actually I'm going to talk about and explain to you will have some sort of connection. A lot of these are really stupid. <laughs> Most of these are, there are actually very few here that are not stupid. I truly really want to make sure they were not like collabs or like officially linked with any sort of fandom because that would kind of defeat the purpose. And also if I wanted to do that, I would literally would have like a gazillion things to choose from. Even here, I feel like there's definitely probably stuff I got for some sort of fandom reason and then like forgot. And I definitely like i wanted to make sure it was not a product that was like banking on the nostalgia value like i didn't want that to be the selling point like otherwise i could have done like a blush from the 8000 color pop collabs they've done with like different disney properties or i have like an official like mac aladdin like collaboration bronzer that i have but i didn't use that obviously so these are all things that are like not meant to be linked to a fandom in any way or the the, the link is very tenuous and i <laughs> linked them in my brain anyway a lot of these products are not going to look good together so it's entirely possible that this look is going to be like a hot mess but the point really isn't the look it's kind of just to like explain my thought process and why i own these products in the first place the other thing is my hair is kind of like i don't know i was trying something new and i think it looks a little bit insane but it's just like growing on me very quickly and then i just paired it with these very fun earrings i have that just say eat shit that i'm like a huge fan of so that is what is happening let's just dive right in my base is on the only things that are left for my base are my blush and my highlighter so let's just do those so my blush is this Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Pillow Talk blush. So the thing about this is I wanted to try one of these Charlotte Tilbury blushes because I heard really good things. And then I also was kind of like low-key obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury like Pillow Talk collection. Like I could have probably also grabbed from this collection for like lips because I also have like the Pillow Talk lipsticks and lip liners, but I didn't want to like cheat and like grab all like seven of them. And I also have a different product from a different, completely different brand also called Pillow Talk here, but I decided to grab the blush because I have a lipstick that is not related to anything that I just said that is the entire inspiration of this video is the, me purchasing that lipstick in like 20 like 16 or something so I would have gotten a blush from this line probably if it was not called pillow talk like I just probably would have gotten a different shade I grabbed this one because I've heard like the pillow talk range was like really good but I also was like very into Zane from One Direction at the time and he had just come out with his lead single off of his first album which was called pillow talk and I was like wow this is so fun I love Zane and his song is called pillow talk and now i'm gonna link these two in my head forever even though like he doesn't make anything off of this blush this blush was definitely not named after his song because i think it predates the song and also like pillow talk is like a pretty common term but that was what my inspiration was and so i kind of got into like the pillow talk line i really like the lipsticks like honestly the lipsticks the lip liners even this like blush like they're all very good they're just really expensive charlotte tilbury's pillow talk line is like their equivalent of nars orgasm they have like eight thousand products all named pillow talk like they have like a, an eyeshadow palette that's like a hundred dollars but like it's too basic for me to like ever pay that much for it the colors are just too plain this i kind of justify and the lipstick i justified because i wanted to try them out anyway and i liked the, the shades and i thought they would work but like truly like there, there was no no need for me to get this shade in particular other than the Zane connection which is like barely a connection following up on that the next product is the one i just mentioned with the exact same name is this ofra highlighter in pillow talk i was in the united states in 2018 to get my dog and also to go to uh ulta which is a thing that doesn't exist in canada and before i don't know if you can now get it places but like back in the day you can only get ofra on their website and like at ulta which we don't have in canada and i didn't want to pay the shipping fees so i was like okay i'm in the states I'm going to get this Ofra highlight because I've heard really good things about Ofra highlights. And the thing is, I picked out two that I actually really like the colors of. I had Rodeo Drive and I had like one of the Nikki Tutorials collabs that was like a three-way pan that I ended up throwing away because I dropped it and it shattered like beyond repair. But this one was almost like too frosty for me, I thought. But again, it was called Pillow Talk. Once again, I was like, oh, Zane, I should get this to like support him. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It like doesn't support him anyway. But anyways, I ended up getting, instead of getting two Ofra highlights like of colors that I would actually use a lot, I also ended up getting this one, which I also dropped. These are really fragile. I dropped it, I broke it, but it's still usable, so I still have it. But I do like it. It's it's very frosty. Like it's a, it's a little bit too like icy for me and my skin tone, I think. But I like the quality of these. I shouldn't have gotten this one. I literally just got it because maybe I think it was Zayn Malik from Formerly of One Direction, who now has a solo career. Like that was the gist. It was not a good reason, but I, I really liked it. Okay, I'm gonna set my face 
off camera and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have set my face with my MAC Fix Plus and I've put on some eye primer. Let's talk about eye products next. I have a couple insane things here for your entertainment. So, okay, number one is this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow that's like 100 years old. I don't even know if this is like gonna be usable. I hope it is, but it's called Liberty. I got this in like 20, I wanna say like 2016 or something. I was definitely at university. I think it was 2016, maybe 2015. I don't remember, but I, it's just like super metallic, like silver and it's called Liberty. And I literally got this solely because I was like really, really into Captain America at the time, like more than I am now, which is like saying a lot, but I was like really like, I was like hyper-focused on like Captain America and like the Winter Soldier and like that whole era in time when I was like very fixated on like Stucky as a concept and like Steve Rogers as a character. And I was like, wow, Liberty, Captain America, Silver, Star Spangled Man with a Plan. And I got this stupid fucking eyeshadow, but like I never use this color. I've used it literally like twice maybe. Like look at it, look at it, look at like, look how blinding that is. Like why would I ever use that? We're gonna use it today, I guess, but I, I got this solely for that purpose. A lot of these are like linked to like when I was like insanely into Marvel. Like, you know, and, like I'm still into Marvel like, like severely, like it's a disease that will not go away. But now I'm into Marvel in the way that like, you know how like back in the day it was cool to like be depressed. So you were like depressed, but you were kind of happy about it because it made you like cool on the internet or quirky. That was me in like 2016. I was like, I had Marvel disease, but I was like kind of into it. Now I have Marvel disease and I'm like, oh, this is actually, this shit sucks. It's like, now it's like, oh, you're depressed and it's actively making your life worse and it's not a fun and quirky thing anymore. Like that is my Marvel disease now. Like now I actively like am angry at Marvel all the time, but I can't like leave. It's like weird. It's Stockholm syndrome. But like back in the day, I was like very into Marvel. I was very happy. I was having a great time. I was vibing. And so I kept buying shit that like, linked to Marvel characters in some way, which is why like half of these products that I'm gonna be talking about for the rest of this video are like linked to Marvel characters because they're like my favorites basically. Like they're all like linked to either Steve Rogers or like Thor. Like I'll be honest with you, that's the entire rest of this video is gonna be products in that manner, probably. The other product I have on that line is a, this Metal Crush eyeshadow from KVD called Thunderstruck. Again, because Thunderstruck got a thunder. I know it's an ACDC song. It also kind of makes me think of Gene Winchester from Supernatural. Like they have things named Thunderstruck because they like ping multiple parts of my brain. Like they, they, they ping the supernatural part of my brain, but then they also ping like the Thor part of my brain. So it's like, it's like a two for one, which is why I have like, I think two products here called Thunderstruck. At least this time they are like different products. They're not face products. So this is like a, yeah, this is a, a Metal Crush eyeshadow that I think I've used like maybe once. It's also blinding, like it's so blinding. This one's just like pure silver though. And this one's got like kind of, it's like a white with kind of like a yellowy almost like flip to it. And then I have other eye products, but for other eye shadows, I, this is not really super linked to fandoms. So I actually got this because I legitimately like the color. It's the ColourPop, it's my pleasure, like purple monochromatic palette. I got this because I like the colors, but I was into, in, like immediately more endeared to it when I realized the shade down here is called fan fiction. Because I used to think it was like, fan fiction was like really like, I don't know, progressive. But like, again, back in the day when people on the internet would try to convince you that like having like ships was activism and that like fan fiction was somehow like changing the world. I thought like being into fanfic was like very, again, quirky and cool and maybe like very like uh, counterculture or something. And so again, like finding out this palette was called, the had a shade called fan fiction made it like 20 times more appealing to me. I don't actually use fan fiction that much even though I really like the color. I, I mostly use the metallics in it, but I, I thought I would mention it in this video anyway. And then this one actually, like legit, I did not purchase this. I will be honest, I didn't purchase this because I thought the shade names were cool or they like pinged anything in my brain. I got it because I legitimately just think it's like a beautiful palette. Like it's, it's stunning. I've, I've, I've raved about this in like three different videos, I think at least. This is the Lunar Beauty Moonspell eyeshadow palette and it's like, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's just like, like what is there not to love about this palette? But the, 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 the huge thing with this palette is every single shade is named after a witch, which I also like, I, again, I got it because the palette was cool and I liked the colors and they were, it was different from anything I had, but I can't pretend that wasn't like a, an additional factor that made me go, oh, this is kind of cool. So like, for example, I'll just, I'll just read the shades to you and I will tell you the ones I recognize. So it's like Prue, Piper, Phoebe, Paige. They're all like the witches from Charmed, I'm pretty sure. Sabrina, like the teenage witch. Winifred, Sarah, Mary. Those are the, the Sanderson sisters, I think, from Hocus Pocus, I believe. Samantha, I feel like I should know and it's, it's going over my head really badly and it's, it's really bothering me. Kiki is like Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. Hermione, obviously Hermione Granger. Bonnie, I'm pretty sure is from like the Vampire Diaries, I think. I could not tell you who Marnie is and someone's probably gonna call me out. Same with, I feel like Marnie and Nancy and Fiona, I feel like must be from like, I don't know, some like older witchy horror movie, I feel like. I feel like I used to know, but now I'm blanking on it really, really hard. Like, is it, I don't know, is it, what is that? What is that horror movie? with the witches, the, the four, the four, the four like witches. And one of them goes look bad. 
and like tries to kill people. I don't remember, but it's like set in high school. It's about high school students. I don't remember, but I know there's a horror movie with witches involved. I'm sure there are many horror movies with witches involved. But anyway, I, I just like that is an additional thing that I find very cool. I just think it's fun. But like I didn't buy this palette for that reason, but I thought I should mention it because it's not a collaboration with any sort of brand, but it's, it's a fun little homage that does make me go a little like get excited every time I use the palette. It's like especially when I use like like it makes me want to use the shade names of the characters I like more. So thought I would mention that. All right, so eyes. I, I feel like, the thing is, I, I the obvious root here, because I have so much, is to do like a purple silver look, but I feel like it's gonna clash horribly with my lips. Maybe I should just do my lips first and then we'll come back to the eyes. Let's do that, actually. So for lipstick, I have this lipstick called, so this is this is, this is is the crux of why I made this video, is because when I bought this lipstick, I knew it was gonna look, I didn't think it was gonna look good on me. I was like, this is too pink for you. It's too pink for your lips, it's too lip pink for your skin tone, the undertone is like not correct. But I got it because this is, I got this in the same order. I got the stupid Liberty eyeshadow and it's because it's called Brooklyn and Steve Rogers, Captain America is from Brooklyn. And my dumbass was like, oh, wouldn't that be cute to own an eyeshadow called Brooklyn? Bitch, I hate you so much. I remember this just struck me and I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go find the lipstick, but I just realized I did this again, like last year. I bought a lipstick from ColourPop called 21 Questions because Water Parks has a song called 21 Questions. I have problems. I have literally like a, a, a disorder. Anyway, this is like not gonna look good. This is also really old and kind of smells like paint, but we're gonna put it on anyway. Oh God, yeah, like see like, <laughs> that's so pink. If I actually went and found 21 questions, it might, it like, it would salvage this whole look because I know that's like a much more wearable. Like I think I justified that one to myself because it was actually like a wearable color that I knew would look good on me, but like this is so unsalvageable. What the shit? Oh God, this is so pink. Is this matte too? Oh no, it's a satin. Okay, that's, okay, it could be worse. This is so abhorrent. This is like a crime. I looked so cute and I'm putting on this like pink as shit lipstick that I would never wear. Why did you buy this, Seema? Like, did you, what did you, like, Steve Rogers is not gonna come to life and fuck you because you're wearing a lipstick called Brooklyn. Like what, why on earth would you think that, like, that was justifiable in any capacity? Oh God. Okay, this formula has definitely like separated a bit. It's like very moussey now, which it like used to be smoother. It's like very thick. I guess I'll let that, dry a bit. I really hate this. I hate how this looks. This was such a cute look too. And now I have like the most obnoxious lip on and I'm gonna like put purple and silver on my eyes and it's gonna make things so much worse. Maybe my topper will save it. So this is the other Thunderstruck product I have. So this is just like a, a KVD Glimmer Veil. It's like this like goldy champagne -y color. Yeah, it's more champagne -y than gold. It's got like flecks of gold in it, but it's a lot more closer to like a champagne ish color. So these are just literally like glitter toppers. I never loved the formula. I got a whole bunch of them together, but this one's always been my favorite just because it's called Thunderstruck. And again, Thunderstruck has the double whammy of making me think of Dean Winchester and, and Supernatural because of the ACDC song. And then also, it is ACDC, right? I feel like it's like, it's like not ACDC and someone's gonna like come for me really bad in the comments and, and, and like, call me a fake like classic rock fan, which is like entirely true. Like my, my knowledge of classic rock comes entirely from Supernaturals, but I, I think it's ACDC. Anyway, Thunderstruck makes me think of ACDC and thus Dean Winchester. And then it also makes me think of Thor because he's the God of Thunder and in an ideal universe, he would thunder strike me and put me out of my misery and I would like die happy about it. So anyway, I think my lips are dry enough that I can try to put this on and hope it makes things better. If not worse, I thought, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> No, it's making things worse. It's making things so bad. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're committing. Maybe it'll tone down the, the garishness of the pink. Okay, well. Okay, I generally don't think there's any way to like salvage this look, but I guess that toned down the pink a little. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's like rubbing off the lipstick that's under it and, and it just looks so patchy and bad. Okay, well. We're in it, so I guess we're just gonna move on. I already have eye primer on, like I said, so let's just move into eye colors. I really don't know what I'm doing with this eye look. It's gonna be bad. I'm, I don't know what's happening here, but we're gonna we're gonna try something. What are like my options even? Okay, I guess we'll take some of Winifred, which is like the closest thing I have in either of these palettes, just like a basic like crease neutral color. And we'll just like put that in the crease. This is, I don't know what's happening right now. Oh God, my lips feel so dry too. This is so bad. This is like crackling and coming off and like just like a bad. I actually love the ColourPop satin formula, which is why I'm so devastated they like discontinued it. But this one like is old and then I think the combination of those KVD glitter veils on top, because those glitter veils like I don't use them often because the formula is not good. But I, I like the like the impact of them. But they like and the fun colors, but like they 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 are not great products. But yeah, they uh 
the combo of those two things on like layered on top of each other is like a hot mess. This whole look is a hot mess, but it's like a particularly hot mess. But like I wanted to commit to the theme of this video. It's just that lip is so bad. Oh, I really hate the lip. It's so. Mm -mm. This is like so. I was having such a cute like day too, and then I and then I committed to this crime. It's bad. It's so bad. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'm not gonna do greens. I think that's too much with what's happening right now. I think we should just commit to the purple and hope for the best. Cause like, what is the, what is the complimentary color of purple? It's like yellow almost, right? So maybe that'll almost like kind of speak to the, the orange. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying so desperately to make this work. I just feel like green with this lip would be worse than purple. So I guess we're gonna lean into the purple and grab, <sighs> let's actually, let's just, let's just grab fan fiction because it's almost like a pinky purple and just go like a little bit lower, a little bit lower. I'm trying more products too that are like, I bought, under some similar like insane circumstances but these are just the ones that i like found when looking and like think of off the top of my head like the 21 questions i'd forgotten about completely until i just thought of it now but i wish i had not forgotten it because that would have saved this look but i also feel like i had to use brooklyn just because brooklyn was the whole inspiration behind this video and definitely the stupidest time i've ever bought a product based on like the vibe and the name and the link to whatever insane hyperfixation i had at the time Colourpop had a whole like series of like fall products i think at one point that they named after like it was pop punk themed so they named all of the stuff they had like a like a mr Brightside shade and they had like stuff named after fall boy and paramore and stuff but i didn't realize this until most of it was already sold out thank god so i didn't actually buy any of it and that would have counted because it was not a collaboration even though the names were like a direct homage so i think that would have counted for this video but i just like don't have any of the products thank god but still like i can't believe i missed that okay now i'm going to grab liberty because i have to use that like it's like again it's it's like the crux of the video liberty and brooklyn were the stupidest examples of this which is why i had to use them okay this is not that bad i thought it'd be super dried out but it's like it's still got a lot of life left in her so we're gonna put that on and then we'll cater the rest of the eye to whatever happens here i know color actually wants you to put these like super shocks on with your fingers but i've always found them really difficult because i have really chubby fingers so i find it really hard to use them for like any kind of detailed work but just like slapping them on your lid is like not too bad yeah i think i'm just gonna like put this on and then go back and fix it good enough let's 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 try to salvage whatever's happening here let's grab this and just like buff the edges out a little bit and try to fix my shit this is like blinding though. i love the ColourPop super shocks like i don't use them often but they are so good for just like an easy wash of like brilliant color. Like if you don't want to do anything intense and you just want to like have something on your eye that makes people go, oh, hey, holy shit. They do that for you super well. I'm gonna go back into fan fiction and just try to like clean up this edge a little bit once again. Cause again, part of the issue with having to apply the super shocks with your fingers is it's really hard to get like precise application unless it gets like messy real fast like it did here. Yeah, I don't have those defined edges I had before, which is like fine. This look is already like unsalvageable, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna try to fix it. Now I'm going to grab Thunderstruck, the eyeshadow, and this little pencil brush, and I'm just gonna like dip into her. And this might be a topper, so this might go really, really poorly, but I'm just gonna put her in the inner corner. Even though my inner corner is like already kind of blinding. Yeah, that's like already blinding, so it didn't like do a whole lot, but I just wanted to test her. Yeah, so she's like a little pinkier than the silver. Like there's just like a, the undertone is different, but they're both pretty blinding. Good enough, I can say I used both, it's not bad. Now that I've used those, I am going to head back to the Lunar Beauty palette and just try to like incorporate some of those purples back into my eye in a way that attempts a semblance of cohesion. I don't, I don't really know what's going on here anymore. I've lost the plot. So we're gonna grab Paige, which is just slightly brighter than that fan fiction shade. It's like a little more purple. Tap off the excess and just like go into the corner as best we can. Um, I'm gonna grab this fluffy brush and just like fluff the edges out again. And then just grab some Winifred again and just like buff out that top part. And then I'm gonna grab this purple again and just kind of like add back some of that purple that I feel like might have gotten a little bit lost. Okay, I think we're in a good place now to reevaluate what's happening here. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. I'm gonna grab this same like little pencil brush and I'm gonna grab Piper, which is like this dark color and kind of just go under my eye and hope that doesn't create too much fall out it's entirely possible this shade is like too glitter glittery for that like it just might be pressed too loose but we're gonna try i hope you guys can like see what's going on here i know i'm like pulled back really wide but it's just like by virtue of what's going on with my hair and not wanting to cut that off because it's weird but it's kind of fun i am very pulled back and this is not like a, a tutorial i feel like what i'm saying is more important than what i'm doing because this is more about the insane stories that led me to like having these items 
Okay, great. And then I'm gonna grab the same brush and grab that same Piper shade and just kind of like do a little bit on this outer corner just to like cohesively like connect that bottom lash and then upper lash together a little bit. My eyes are like kind of goth and then like, like kind of glam rock goth and then my lips are like summer beach party starbursts. I don't really know what's happening. If I could change the lip, this look would actually be really fun, but I am not allowing myself to stray from Brooklyn the lipstick because I think you need to make mistakes and then have to like own your mistakes. And while I don't have to wear that lipstick every day, I think I should have to like wear it once and ruin a look once to really like repent for my stupid actions. Okay, good enough. Good enough. I don't even know if these eyes are even, like I feel like this one and this one like don't look the same. Yeah, okay, I think I need some more of this paper shade over here. Okay, I think that's the best I can do on that front. I've only got two more fandom related things to talk about. So I have, this one is like tenuous at best. I can't actually remember, but I want to talk about it just in case. But it's an Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Demolition, which I might've gotten because it made me think of Demolition Lovers like by MCR, but I'm not 100% sure if that is like the reason. The other one is this like NYX gel liner, this Cosmic Gel Liner in Infinite Star. I just thought these gel liners, like the Cosmic Infinite ones, I wanted to get like every single one of them because I just thought like they really did make me think of space and thus they really made me think of Thor and like Loki and the Bifrost and like their space travel shenanigans, which is why I own this, even though I don't use gel liner ever. But I guess we're gonna use the gel liner today because this one for sure I know I got because it reminded me of like something fandom related. But it's also like, it's a gel liner, so it might be dry, which is why I also grabbed the demolition one because this might just like not be usable anymore. It's very pretty, but I just don't know. It's like super dry. It's like, it's like dry to hell. Can we focus on this please? Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like so dry. It was pretty when it wasn't dry though. I'd have to like test this out to see if like, I don't know, getting some like mixing medium would fix the problem, but. Since I can't get it to work, I'm just gonna use this demolition eyeliner and call it a day. This is like not, it's not, it's not a pen, it's like a brush, which I'm really bad at. So I have to concentrate and I, I will be back with lined eyes, but just know that this might be related to my chemical romance, but it might just be that I obtained it under other circumstances I can't really remember. Okay, I'm back. I finished my eyeliner. I also put on some mascara and set my face just because those were also steps that like didn't require me explaining anything because they were not fandom related at all. This uh, eyeliner is actually like a dark brown, which I kind of really like. It's like very, I don't know. Sometimes black is just like a little too stark. I think with this look actually black probably would have been better, but it didn't fit the parameter, so that's okay. I actually think this Cosmic Gel Liner, if it had worked, would have been really cool because it's like this like blue with like these like pink and blue like glitter particles in it. So it would have been really cool, but I just like could not get it to work. It's just so, so dry. If it had been salvageable, it would have been. Actually, what if I just like spray it? Like, it's already dead. What if I just sprayed some like Fix Plus in there and tried? Like, are you salvageable in any capacity? My like sense is that the answer is no. Yeah, that, that didn't do anything. Like spraying Fix Plus in there just made it worse. The point is I tried. I tried to fix it and it didn't work, but you live and you learn. I actually think either way though, like, regardless of like the mishaps, I think this eye look is kind of fun. It is awful with this lip. The, the lip clashes so hard with everything else going on like with me right now. But I think it looked away from the lip. Everything else looks like really good. Like this is a great like to go outside with a mask on like because everything other than my lips looks great. I fucking love it. But the lips are really ruining everything. But like now I kind of, I should keep silver shadow in my back pocket because I'm kind of really digging it like a lot actually like I, I think I look legitimately really fun and really good it's like just like ignore the lips that's the bad part of the look but everything else is like great I love it I this is a really fun way to try out some new stuff not not really new this is also I've had for a while but I've always been like apprehensive about putting together or like I think it's just like when I do like weird like themed videos like this it forces me to use stuff that I haven't used a lot I have and I use a lot in different ways than I would ordinarily use it. Like I've used almost every single one of these products like several times before, but just like never together or in this way. But I think it just makes me think outside the box and it's very fun. It was also kind of like fun to reminisce on these dumb products and why I got them and share that. So anyway, I'm just gonna wrap up this video because I really need to edit and I have a long night ahead of me and I have to make dinner and stuff still too. But comment down below if you've ever done like a weird impulse purchase. In retrospect, it's like not logical at all, just based on like something you were super into or like reminded you of something else or anything like that. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you wanted to follow me on other social media platforms, you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And if you like this video and you want to hang out with me next week, please hit that subscribe button because I post new videos every Wednesday and I will see you guys all then. 